Hello, my name is Lisa Herbie, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to this week's unit that will focus on exploring frameworks that help support and guide digital learning and teaching practices. Let's start with what we do know. Free access to dynamic digital tools and resources is ever expanding. And most teachers, they do report an interest in wanting to use educational technology, yet routine use of technology and their own learning and teaching practices remains elusive. But this makes sense when you think about all the different knowledges that teachers must draw upon when planning lessons with technology. They have to determine the right fit between the tool, um, their curriculum, and the planned learning activity. This kind of integrated knowledge is what Punya Mishra and Matthew Kohler refer to as technological pedagogical content knowledge, or TPAC. TPAC helps to clarify that technology use alone without content and pedagogy is useless. As instructional technology coaches, we have to help educators understand that technology use has to directly be tied to your pedagogy and content knowledge. Additionally, there are a lot of educators who use the SAMR model as iterative steps to fuller technology integration or as a ladder to the sweet spot in the TPAC model. The TPAC and SAMAR frameworks help to better contextualize what has become the art and science of digital learning and teaching. Rather than intimidate, the ideas presented in TPAC and SAMAR might help you as a coach to help alleviate that stress and pressure educators feel as they attempt to effectively integrate technology in their classrooms. The essential question guiding this unit is, how can frameworks like TPAC and SAMAR help me assess and guide educators to the best intersection of curricular standards, sound pedagogical choices, and digital tool selections to directly enhance and then support student learning? As always, we will begin this unit with a set of core videos and digital resources related to the TPAC and SAMAR model. You will then be invited, of course, to discuss your reactions and your thoughts about those frameworks and how they might support you in your instructional technology coaching role. In Unit 3 section of your Instructional Technology Coaching Action Plan, you will begin to think about strategies and opportunities for assessing others TPAC or perhaps where they are in the SAMAR framework. In this unit's Connected Educator Corner, you are invited to continue our conversation about the TPAC and SAMAR model using our hashtag for this MOOC ed. In your coaching tip, you will be provided ideas for how you might spread the word about these fabulous frameworks that really help guide educators to effectively teach with technology. We hope that you enjoy working with a TPAC and SAMAR framework as you think about how they help you make shifts while you're coaching teachers to effectively integrate technology.